This video is sponsored by DA Lubricant Company. Give your fleet bumper to bumper protection. Visit DALube.com to learn more. Have you heard about electrification? Electrification is all the rage in trucking. They're doing some crazy things with electrification. 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 Electrification! I apologize. It seems my mind is not entirely my own these days. It's as if there's someone always whispering in my ear, Hey Fleet Keeper, let's talk about electrification today. Not that that's a bad thing. Some of the biggest names in trucking are making some huge advancements in electric trucks. It's awesome. But what about all the other fuel options? What about, I don't know, biodiesel? Let's talk about electrification. What was that? Wait a second. I know what's going on here. Yes, despite what you can't see, there's a shifty stranger in this room. The story goes that years ago, there was a scientist who was obsessed with electrification. He became so consumed with the thought of powering powertrains with electricity that he soon became twisted, believing everything should be electrified, even performing experiments on himself to give him his own battery-powered life. No one knows if he succeeded, because something went wrong with his final test. It's believed he's turned himself invisible. No one knows how it happened, but the longer he stays invisible, the more he takes advantage of his position, doing his best to be sure that only electrification is ever spoken about in these hollowed halls of heavy-duty fuel speak. While I do enjoy the topic, today I'll look into the eyes of this foul creature and say, BE GONE! We shall speak of biofuel today! I am the Fleet Keeper, and I speak, of course, of the Invisible Fuel Man. Despite all the talk of electrification, chances are that the diesel engine will remain on top for years to come. Just earlier this year at the National Biodiesel Conference and Expo, experts illustrated this point with some federal data. 77% of all distillate energy is used by the over-the-road freight market. A 14% increase in registered diesel vehicles is expected by 2035. And diesel vehicle miles traveled are projected to increase by 23% by 2035, with diesel vehicles expected to become 30% more fuel efficient in this time. However, as the invisible fuel man is bound to remind you, diesel fuel doesn't have the same eco and sustainability friendly reputation in the marketplace as electrification does. This is where biodiesel comes in. Biodiesel is a solid renewable fuel option because it is a drop in fuel that helps diesel engines run cleaner right away. And while biodiesel fuel blends are well known for reducing emissions, the Renewable Energy Group says this fuel also delivers increased lubricity, higher cetane, and fewer diesel particulate filter regenerations. Lubricity measures how well a fuel reduces friction, and diesel engines rely on the fuel for lubricity. According to the Renewable Energy Group, Ultra Low Sulfur Diesel, or ULSD, requires lubricity additives to reduce engine wear, but biodiesel provides a natural lubricity with no lubricity additives needed. So one option is to blend biodiesel with ULSD to provide better lubricity without the additives, and the lubricity benefit increases as biodiesel content increases. The cetane rating is a way to measure how well the fuel burns inside the engine cylinder. Fuel compression at the top of a piston stroke creates the combustion that powers diesel vehicles. Biodiesel's higher cetane rating means a shorter ignition time and better combustion. More complete combustion allows engines to run more smoothly and operate more efficiently. The Renewable Energy Group points out another advantage of using biodiesel can be seen in the engine's diesel particulate filter, or DPF. The DPF captures particulate matter from the engine's exhaust to reduce harmful emissions. When a DPF gets full, it is heated to burn off the collected particulates in a process called regeneration. Biodiesel doesn't create many particulates in the exhaust, so the DPF fills slower and requires less frequent regeneration. So, invisible fuel man, don't count out alternative fuels like biodiesel yet when it comes to environmental impact and improved engine performance. 
For more trucking equipment content, head over to fleetequipmentmag.com. May the monsters that haunt your fleet show your trucks mercy, and thanks for watching.